Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm up here in the mountains with Marley and my good buddy Evan. We are up here for the next two days. We're going to do some cooking tonight. We're just going to have a nice relaxing evening and I figured it'd be nice to bring you guys along with us. And so I'll kind of show you guys our camp set up in a little bit. We're going to get a fire going and I'll bring you guys right back. So I'm really happy to be out here right now. I needed to come get away from it all. I spend 20 hours a day on a computer in front of a screen doing my own podcast, making my own videos. And I decided I want to start making some new videos with outdoor equipment and camping. And who better to do it with than with Dana here. So I'm out here making some new videos to get away from the podcast. And then I'll be back to it soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> Ball. Get your ball. Yeah, put it right here. Oh. Yeah, put it right here. There you go. You know. <laughs> she outran it. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. She's like, I wish it was a squirrel. All right, it's fire time. Got here some fire plugs, all weather fire starters by Bigfoot Bushcraft. I've never tried these, so we're going to try them. Let's see, bend the plug in half, back and forth to loosen the fibers. Rub the two halves against each other in a circular motion to break the plug apart. Expose, light the exposed fibers with a spark from a ferro rod. I got one of those. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's something in the center of these. I can, I can feel it like a, what does it say it's got? Jet, what, jet fuel wax blend. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna get hot. <laughs> so here, we get these ready on the side. Got my six inch by half inch ferro rod here. I put some duct tape here on it if I ever need some extra fire starter material. And Sparks is the name of the game, everyone. Oh, look at that. Look at that jet fire go up. I want to suffocate it. Go nice and slow here. Oh, I can hear it roaring like a jet engine already. That lit right up. It sounded like a jet engine. That was awesome. Got it started. Certainly something you want to have around if you're dealing with wet wood or just want to get it lit really quick. You saw that one spark is all it took and we got ourselves a fire. Fire plugs, Bush, Bigfoot bushcraft. Those are intense. And talk about jet fuel wax blend. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Beautiful. So for dinner tonight we got kebabs and I got a few pieces of steak here. We got the grill set up. I uh, got some nice coals on here and the grill is propped up with some stones. And so I'm going to get this on here. Should take, oh I'm going to say probably about five to eight minutes per side on the steak and uh, the kebabs won't take very long. Oh yeah. That sizzle right away. Oh yeah. So this is honestly one of my favorite parts about coming out in the mountains and you know getting to hang out with a good friend is the cooking part. Now, I don't always like to bring complicated meals, but I will say there's nothing like, you know, cooking steak over a fire. 
Um, you can't get the same taste out of barbecue. Um, there's just something about being out here. Um, food, to me, just tastes that much better. Check out our dinner. Awesome. Straight off the fire. Mm -hmm. mm. Man, there's something about it on a campfire. Mm. This is really good. Yeah, it's good. I'm using my pocket knife. <laughs> This can actually hold itself up like that, so we can check it really easy. Yeah. Perfect. Definitely nice having coffee. Cheers. Perfect dinner, excellent day, and it is warm in here. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see what it is, actually. It is 59 degrees in here, <laughs> and that means it's probably in the 40s outside. I'm going to guess about 48 degrees. And I don't even have this stoked up yet. Once I stoke up the stove, um, I should be able to get it up around 75, maybe 80. Sure, we don't feel that already? No, Damn, it's, dude. It's, it's, not, it's, gonna it's be... not that hot yet. Oh, 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 it's too hot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's very nice in here. <laughs> really cool. So I think the plan is to, I'm going to get up tomorrow, we might do some little projects around camp, and I'm planning on staying here a good portion of a day. We'll do a little bit of target shooting, and as nice as this tent is, very easy to set up, um, it does take a bit of time to pack everything up, because we got the tables, we got the cot, we got everything that we brought. And we, got whole, we got a whole apartment in here yeah. right now. <laughs> we got in, indoor heating. <laughs> this is like a castle. You gonna mention your cot? I am. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show my cot. It's a like hefty duty looking too with those, uh, those bars down there where you gotta like crank it to lock it in place. <laughs> so yeah, I went ahead and picked up this uh, cot over at Big Five on my way up here. I think it was about 70 bucks, but you know, I could justify it because I, I come out here so much, I do a lot of camping, and so it was worth it for me to get something, you know, pretty good. Look at this handle on this thing, this locking handle. It's, yeah, it uh, looks like the uh, the door handle. Yeah, it is. Airplane. It's like an emergency exit <laughs> handle. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Smart cot, one piece, military, and it's made by a company called, called Rio. And like I said, I picked this up at Big Five, and it seems to be pretty good, but we'll test it out, see how it goes. Um, but it is definitely nice being up off the floor, you know, especially if there's any bugs or anything like that. And it's at more of a level with the stove, so I think I'm going to get a little bit more heat than I would um, sitting on the floor. I have fire!
bacon and scrambled eggs. I know what you want. Who wants bacon? Mm, who doesn't want bacon? Who wants bacon? Mmm, bacon. Well, this is really good. Mmm. Definitely nice having a camp breakfast. Mm-hmm. Very good. I love breakfast. It's my favorite meal of the day, but I don't often have breakfast. I'm much too busy in the morning, and it's usually lunch, but when I've got the chance to make a nice breakfast, it's definitely worth it. Mm. I really enjoyed getting out here with Evan. I think you had a good time. I sure did, man. It's nice up here. Very peaceful. The uh, That tent definitely worked out well for us, and... Uh, we had a whole circus going. I'm not looking forward to packing everything up. <laughs> That's definitely the worst part of it's it It's a lot of work getting everything jammed into my Jeep. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along. And uh, you can get a hold of Evan if you want to check out his... BrainPod Media. That's it. BrainPodMedia.com. I do a podcast every other day during the week. So that's my gig. <laughs>